Hey everyone, it's me Joji, and today we got a special treat. I went out uh, for a grocery run and Target had uh, stocked its stuff, so we got the pink collections to open today. Today we're going to open up only one, we're going to open up the Morpeko one, and again guys, sanitize your stuff when you get it, so spray it with Lysol and whatever you need to do just to get it clean. Went ahead and sprayed it myself and uh, wiped it all down afterwards. So yeah, I mean, at least it's the packaging, so you don't have to worry about it, but you still, you don't know who's touching it. Um, I'm hoping the vendors and people stocking it are doing their due diligence and uh, keeping clean, but just to be safe, sanitize all your stuff when you get it. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Uh, right off the bat, I do want to mention that these two promos also are not the sword and shield hollow they are not the hollow that goes straight down it is a i don't know it's it's the original galaxy hollow um so like on the wulu uh, let's see if i can get a good focus on there you could nice tap there right there you can see all the specs but i'm trying to get the shine on it there's this weird galaxy looking thing in the corner there see how long this takes you right there look at that that's reminiscent of what it used to be I think they used to be squirrels I think they called them galaxy swirls um, it's probably not the same exact um, hollow but yeah whatever uh, still interesting to see that little swirl there um, it's, it's, I've only seen it on the Zulu so far. Maybe we'll find it on the Morpeko or the Snorlax later on, but uh, How do we open this thing? I think straight off the top Yep All right Let's get this opened up And Pull out these cards now. I did notice it comes with three cards or three packs. Sorry um, Obviously it looks super bent. I don't know why. Um, I think it's just the way it's packaged. Uh, I don't see anything, but it is the same hollow. Nice little Morpeko going for, um, I'm hoping is an Oron Apple and not an Appleon. That'd be horrible if it took a bite out of a Pokemon. Um, <laughs> uh, we also have this cute little pin here. Nice little Morpeko. More Peko, not more a Peko. More Peko. There we go. Yeah, nice little cute pin there. Cute little guy. So yeah. And as I was saying, I think they only come with three packs, but one of them seems to be Sun and Moon. Uh, there's the code. We'll show off later. Yeah, one of these is Sun and Moon. Um, a little disappointed. I was hoping all three of them would be Sword and Shield. Um, but I can't complain. Sun and Moon base set. It's okay. Uh, so we have two Sword and Shield and one Sun and Moon to open today. Maybe we'll get maybe a Ramble Rare Sogaleo. Who knows? Uh, I locked the focus. I have no idea where I locked it. I locked it somewhere. Come on. I don't want to leave it on autofocus, but for some reason it's being finicky with me. Uh, I think we'll go oldest to newest, so we'll open the Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon. I, I don't know what's going on with me. First, before anything else, let's go ahead and sleeve the Morpeko before I forget and give it a stand right here in the back. All right. And we're gonna open up a Sun and Moon base set. Man, when's the last time I opened one of these up? Um, might have been a few videos back. But, anyways, there's a Fire Energy, a Poliwhirl, Steenie, Her Deer, Sun Skirt, alright, Wingle, Populio, Growlithe, Grubbin. A more little reverse and a butterfree just rare okay so nothing from that Sun and Moon but here's hoping that at least these sword and shields have some rares in them I guess 
hollow rares would be best. All right. All right, good. These are also swipe off. So how you guys doing? Um, oh, another fire energy. Uh, I'm doing okay, keeping safe, hoping you guys are doing the same thing. Same goes with your loved ones. Um, but yeah, I think we're almost like a month into this uh, lockdown. It kind of sucks, but eh. At least we were able to find some Pokemon cards. I ordered a bunch of stuff, so that'll be coming in. I already ordered my stuff for Rebel Clash, so excited for that. We got a Doug Trio Reverse and an Indindy V. Not bad, nice good pull there. At least we're getting a pool that's better than anything, honestly. Um, I think the last time I opened up blisters like these was... Was it Hidden Fates? I think it might have been Hidden Fates. I don't know if Cosmic Eclipse had any blisters like this. Last Sword and Shield for this boost pin collection. Yeah, I don't think there's been a pin collection since Hidden Fates. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure we got pulls from Hidden Fates. I mean, the reverse rares had a chance of being, uh, not, sorry, not the reverse rares. No, yeah, well, the reverse rares had a chance of being shiny Pokemon. So, we got a bunch of pulls then, but we end with the Lapras today. So, overall, it's a decent pin collection. You get the more Peko pin here. Obviously, I think I showed off the code. Uh, you get three packs. Unfortunately, one of them is a sun and moon. I uh, was hoping for all three of them being sword and shield, but we did get the Indindy V from one of those packs. And of course, the more Peko right there with, honestly, I think it's a galaxy hollow, um, whatever the, the galaxy hollow, hollow um, here, more Peko. Possibly eating another Pokemon. Hoping it's not going to cannibalize that Applin. But hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video. Um, get subscribed. Ring that bell so you can get updates on more. And when you can see that Snorlax one in a few days. So see you then. As always guys, stay safe. And thanks for watching.